What is going on guys? Winter Kills here and welcome to a brand new pack opening video. It's been a little while since I've done one of these, but a very, very important to me anyways and exciting to me anyways set has just released today and that is Synchro Storm. Not only is there really good generic synchros in here like uh, Baroness de Fleur, the great Lyra Lust support, but there is also a ton of incredible Speedroid cards in this set, and you guys know how I feel about Speedroid. So I didn't just get one box, I went ahead and got three boxes of Synchro Storm Legendary Duelists. Um, and I don't usually buy this many boxes, but I've got locals this Saturday and I want to play speedroids and I need the cards ASAP Rocky. I will be getting two more boxes from another locals using store credit. So that should be nice and uh, on the low if you will. And hopefully we can get our cork shooters, our crystal clear wing, maybe a ghoster. I'm hoping I love that card. How it looks in ghoster, a beautiful looking card. We obviously need Baron de Fleur and uh, pretty much everything between the Speedroid Roulettes, Magic Hound, um, all that stuff. I think, and Duplicate. We need Duplicate as well. So we have a lot of things we need. I've seen a lot of videos where people open the set. I've seen somebody open five of these in a single video and no Cork Shooter. Um, I've seen people open up two of these boxes and get a Ghost or a Crystal Clear. So like anything goes right now. Um, and I'm just hoping we get everything we need. Um, before we get into the video, I'd like to let you guys know if you want to support the channel by shopping on TCG Player, don't forget to use my affiliate link found in the description below anytime you guys shop and check out. Using that link, a small bit of the revenue from your purchase goes right back into the channel and helps out a ton. And this playmat I'm using here, uh, you guys can probably tell how gorgeous it is. The artwork done by Frankie Art, absolutely nailed it. Uh, this is the Imperium Duelist Designator's Mansion playmat. It is on sale right now, and you can get it on their site for 10% off using my discount code WINNERKILLS10 off at checkout to save 10% off their entire order. And a little sneak peek here, you heard it from me first, this beautiful Demon Slayer themed deck box will be restocking next Friday. Uh, so if you guys want to get your hands on one, make sure you keep an eye on their site. And again, don't forget to use discount code WINNERKILLS10 off at checkout. But let's go ahead and crack into our first box. I literally cannot wait any longer. The only thing that is preventing me from progressing here is the plastic wrap on the outside. But there we go. Let me just go ahead and rip this off. This is the hardest and most awkward part of every pack opening, in my opinion. Um, but let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. All right. So here is our first box. There's also 36 packs per box, which is like insane. I'm so used to just opening up like main uh, sets where there's only 24 boosters, but of course, comes with a trade-off that there are only five cards per pack with a rare card in every pack. Um, and then I think we're probably destined to get, I wanna say maybe four to six ultras uh, per box. And uh, from what I've seen, at least what I saw in Ruxin's video is that the Ghost Rare doesn't replace an ultra, I think. So if you get a Ghost Rare, you could still get an ultra on top of it. Or if you get, you know, four or five ultras, you could still technically get the ghost rare. So I'm going to just go ahead and open up all of these boxes now and get all the packs on the table. All right, here's the last box. And let's just go ahead and throw the box over there. And we'll just put these packs here. Um, so we have a ton of packs here. We have well over 100 packs. So I'm just going to go ahead and start right here in the middle. And let's crack our first pack here. Will we hit a Baron in the first box, in the first 10 packs? Oh god, I hope so. So here we have Noble Knight Joan. We're just going to go through these very quickly here since we have a lot of packs. So nothing there. Um, also, like the Lyrilust, obviously I'm looking forward to the Speedroid stuff the most. Um, if I could just open this pack here without destroying the goods inside. I'm obviously looking forward to the Speedroid stuff the most. Um, but the Lyrilust stuff is kind of cool tbh i'm not gonna i'm not gonna complain about getting those cards because a friend of mine was actually testing the pure leer lust deck against me the other night when i was on speedroid um because you know we're both men of culture we both uh you know are a little bit more excited for synchro storm than we are bode um everybody said you know let's test post bode post bode but they never say let's test post synchro storm but i was playing against this pure leer lust desk, desk deck and uh i can't speak and it was really cool, actually. 
Like, the Insan Blue Robin is just like a quad compulse uh, for special summon monsters, which is pretty crazy. So I was kind of sold on the deck there, TBH. So our first ultra rare, we have Necro Synchron. Um, I'm not even going to bother going ahead and reading this card because um, we're going to have a lot of cards to get through here, a lot of packs to get through, and uh, not a lot of time to do it in because I don't want to keep you guys forever. And feel free to watch on, uh, you know, higher speed. There is our first copy of Duplicate. That is a rare I am keeping to the side. I've seen people open boxes where they only get one of those. Like, the pull rate seems so weird on some cards. Um, and I don't know, I've seen, like... I think I saw a total of, like, nine box openings on YouTube. And between all nine of those boxes, um, I saw one cork shooter. I think I watched Crush Cards open two, I watched Ruxin open two, and then another smaller channel. I think Lord Trent open uh, five on his channel. And I think between all nine of those boxes, one Cork Shooter, which has me very, very worried. Um, but I think I saw two Ghost Rares amongst those nine boxes and no Cork Shooters. Uh, now that those boxes are all from different cases, obviously, you know, it could be different. But, uh, you know anything goes only one ultra rare so far here and a couple supers i don't know how many supers we're supposed to get uh but we'll find out i guess um do we just get six cards in a pack this says this says five cards per pack This says five cards per pack. We just got six cards in a pack. That's, that's, um, that's interesting. Let's see if that error happens again. That can't, that's definitely an error. It says five cards per pack on the pack. That was six cards. One, two, three, four. Okay, so one pack was off. One pack was off. Let's see if that happens again. That's actually really interesting. Nope, that's five in that pack. I feel like, uh... Raphael Neven when he opened up his tins and had four ultra rares in each pack with one secret uh, Okay, we got a, cr a clear wing synchro dragon uh, It is a wind synchro. It's a pretty okay one, but it's not the wind synchro. We are after Not even close Liberty at last we're gonna be seeing that card a lot. I feel Like a lot and uh, start us assault warrior speed recovery pretty nice like, I like to see that pretty much every decent Speedroid card is in here. I don't know if they reprinted Car Turbo. Um, I guess I'll know shortly. Okay, so here we have uh, Sage de Fleur, which I have no idea if I pronounced that correctly. Another Ultra Rare, though. Kind of a Booty Buns one. I mean, I have no idea what it does, to be honest. It could be really good for that perspective archetype, or specific archetype. And Speedroid Wheel. All right, one down. One down, two to go, because it's definitely a three up in my list, 100%. And um, depending on when this video goes up, there should also be a Speedroid deck profile coming very, very soon. And we have a play set of Duplicate out of one box. See what I mean? That's weird. So we're set on Duplicates. Anything else at this point is bonus, because uh, another friend of mine will be playing this deck too. And all right, one Ultra Round. I only play one, so... All right, that's perfect. That is that is perfect. We're off to a good start here. If I could get this pack open. I'm sorry if I'm a Neanderthal when it comes to opening the packs, but... All right, nothing there. Yeah, I normally don't open packs this quickly, but we have over 100 packs to get through, so... Uh, White Steed of the Floral Knights. This card looks cool. I like that it's a wind monster, but unfortunately we cannot tech it in speedroids. At least... You can control level 2 or lower monster, you can special this card from your hand in defense position. You can only spe Okay, I mean, that could be Splash, technically. Interesting. If there's a Car Turbo in here, and I've missed it, somebody pointed out to me. Because it'd be cool if they reprinted Car Turbo, too. Because uh, I know that comes in Rise of the Duelist. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Never mind. Another Duplicate, that's four copies. We'll take that. Now I can play four in my deck. Uh, I've been very back and forth in the ratios for, uh, for Duplicate. I've been from 1 to 2 to 3, um, but I've been, you know, I think I've settled on 1 for the time being. Uh, alright, another Ultra Rare. We have the Ensemble Robin 
Uh, this card is actually kind of nuts. Um, because it says, uh, we're right here. If your opponent special summons a monster or monsters, except during the damage step, you can detach one material from this card, then target one of those special summon monsters, return it to the hand. Not a once per turn. And you can get four materials into this thing very, very easily. Um, so yeah, it's actually kind of a crazy card. Makes Pleades look like, well, makes him look like a little bitch. Just saying. Now, Pleades can bounce, I think, any card, but still, like, that's, that's nuts. Kite Drake there, love Kite Drake. I might just, you know what? I should probably just rarity downgrade my entire deck. That's what I should do. I know one of my friends uh, did that with his VW deck. Uh, we got a Bird Sanctuary there. It's a pretty good card for the deck as well. So we are almost through our first box here. And I, I didn't mix up all the packs, so I know which boxes are which. Like, each pile. Assemble Nightingale. That card's kind of crazy. That's like the deck's win con, like Peter Lurlusk, is the Assemble Nightingale, at least from what I've seen. Just attack directly uh, multiple times for a lot of attack. <clears throat> And just kind of win on the spot there. We're using the, the Recital Starlings to like crash into big things. And uh, deal a ton of damage to your opponent. <gasps> okay, I saw an Ultra Synchro Monster. I got a little excited. But we have High Speed Roid Clear Wing Rider. Very happy to pull this. This is a card I might actually consider playing in the deck. Uh, not only for its effect to like tag out into up to two level 7 Synchros from the deck. Uh, win Synchros. But uh, the fact that this card can just like potentially pop up to six things and then also shuffle uh that many uh wind monsters from your grave back in the deck so it's like an avarice but instead of drawing you get to blow up a bunch of cards um and it also just looks cool like clear wing is now a bicycle which is really funny um so we have i want to say one two three four ultra rares so you know we could still potentially get one more ultra rare if we got really lucky we could still technically get a ghost rare in this box as well um, but, uh, you know, I'm not holding my breath for it at this point. If we pull it, that would be awesome. But it can definitely happen, because the, the Ghost Rare, I think, from what I've heard, doesn't replace an Ultra Rare. Uh, nothing that pack. Two more to go for this one. I'm trying to go as fast as I possibly can here. Oh, we got a Fuka, Fuki Madoshi Piper. Very happy to see this card. New piece of Speedroid support. Um, you can summon off Tekka Tomborg because it is a tuner, and then when it's normal or special summon, you can excavate cards from the top of your deck equal to the number of other wind monsters you currently control, and then take one of those excavated cards. Another Clear Wing Rider! Okay, not even going to complain about that. So, that is the spoils from our first box there. No Crystal Clear, but we got a Duplicate Clear Wing Rider. That hurts a little bit. That hurts a little bit, but we still have... 70 something packs to go so i'm gonna put these to the side and we'll go ahead and recap them at the end of the video here i may need to change the battery on this camera the top down camera very very shortly Let's see what we get here i'm just gonna put another common pile up here in the front and let's see if we can pull ourselves a ghost rare it's only a matter of time and also if we get another six card pack that was really interesting could you imagine if there was like an ultra and a ghost in there we got another Floral Knights. Card's actually kind of interesting. I'll have to look into it more, whether or not it could be like a viable tech. Another Necro Synchron. Okay, come on. Come on. I just want to see Cork Shooter. At least one Cork Shooter in this opening. Just one Cork Shooter would be more than enough. Because then I can rely on my other two to three boxes uh, to try to get it then. Another Speedroid Wheel. Okay, I think that's our second copy, so we need one more. This pack feels kind of thick. Is there six cards in here? Or is there a Ghost Rare? No, an literally the same Ultra Rares. In the same order. Necro Synchron and then Sage the Floor. If I pull two more Clearing Riders out of this box, I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna. I'm gonna scream. Don't tell me it's so. Don't, just don't do that. Just don't do that to me, Konami. Please. Please! Let's see. Nothing in that pack. I mean, I, I was hoping to get at least one Clearwing Rider. I was kind of expecting to get at least one, too. Um, but two copies. That's, that's kind of a lot. And I'll definitely have another maybe one to two Speedroid cores at this point. Another Promenade Thrush, so... Okay. Alright. 
That's fine. That's okay. That's alright. That's fine. That's totally fine. What else we got here? Nothing in that pack. Next one, we'll switch to the other side here. Let's see. Alright, okay, perfect. We got a Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. It is not the Ghost Rare. It's not the Ghost Rare, but I'll take it. This is a card I need for the deck 100%. I am playing this card in the deck. It's very good. Very, very easy to make. It may look very hard to make on the surface, but with a card like Cork Shooter, another Ultra Hound, um, it is pretty easy to make in the deck. And of course, with cards like Clear Wing Fast Dragon, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, being readily accessible, you know, put two and two together. You can make the Crystal Clear Man very, very easily. And nothing in that pack. It goes up there. I'm just waiting to peel that Ghost Rare, man. I'm just waiting. Also, if I could just go ahead and get a Cork Blaster, that would be incredible. But these packs don't want to give me Cork Blaster, Cork Shooter. It's like short print, I swear. I know no nothing is in here really like is kind of short print except for the Ghost Rare, obviously. But like, you know, that's kind of a given. But how is it that I don't pull a single... Okay, Cork, or not Cork, Bird Call, and a Duplicate. I'm just going to put the Duplicate to the side now because I already have four, I think, pulled off in this pile. Bird Call is a kind of a nuts card, so I'm not too disappointed that I pulled that. It is an insane card. It's also, it's Rota slash Foolish, and then it also just summons a card from hand. So, like, it does a lot for one card, especially just being a normal spell. And it's a, it's specifically worded that it's a negate, or if it's activation, it's, you can only activate once per turn. Um, so if you negate the activation, um, you can just go ahead and use another one for whatever cards negate activate. Like, for example, Crystal Clearing negates activations. Um, so if I negate a bird call with Crystal Clearing and they have another one, find it off of a Prosperity, they get to do it again. I still don't know why Konami sometimes disparages between another bird call. Okay. Disparages between cards that can only be activated once per turn versus they can only be used once per turn. I don't know why there's a difference, or why they choose to put that on some cards but not others. There goes a pack behind me. So we get down to last couple packs. So we've already gotten four Ultra Rares in this box, so could possibly get another. We got five, I think, in the last box. So anything goes here. Please, please, please give me Cork Shooter. That's all I want. Just a Cork Shooter. Just a Cork Shooter. Not Leerlust cards. That's all I want. I don't want Leerlust cards. Another Promenade Thrush. I mean, I would buy the singles, and in fact, I am going to be buying, in quote, singles, um, a Wagtail, so that's probably our last Ultra for the box. Hate to see it. Um, but uh, I, will, I am buying some foreign cards from a member in my Discord. Um, so I will be getting the singles guaranteed at some point, but the problem is they're not going to be here in time for locals. Florette de Fleur. Okay, so we didn't get all the same ultra rares again. It started out that way. Um, like the Necro Synchron and the Sage de Fleur, like those are just kind of, kind of yikes ultra rares in my opinion. I mean, I don't know if they go in any deck. I don't know if they help any other sort of other deck. Like, I have no idea. Um, I just... And the duplicates are just flowing in here, man. That is crazy. And last pack for this box, and nothing. Alright, so... Yeah, we got five ultra rares there. Two bird calls, a crystal clear, uh, and the necro... Or no, we got six ultras in that box. I can't count. Six Ultras in that box. I think we only got five in the first one. I think four is like the low end for Ultra Rares. All right. So we still have another 36 packs here. Let's just go ahead and crack these open. What do we got in the first pack? I can't use my hands properly there. Another Duplicate, but we don't care anymore at this point about Duplicate. I think we also need another Speedroid Wheel and not a Florette de Fleur. I think we need just one more Wheel, and we can pretty much guarantee our place out at that point. Well, I mean, we'll definitely guarantee. All right, well, perfect time to change the battery, I guess, in the camera while we pull a garbage ultra rare. You hate to see it. Literally, you know, instead of the third Sage of Flurry, you know, we could have pulled like a Cork Blaster or something, you know, useful actually for the deck that I'm playing, but no. Sage de Fleur. Sage de Fleur. I'll always have a hatred for this card now. 
It's just, oh, it's just going to be embedded inside me from now on. Well, let's hope the rest of our five Ultra Rares, two of them are Cork Shooters. I won't complain about duplicates in that sense. Let's see what we can get here. Alright, nothing in that pack. I don't know how many Supers we're supposed to be getting. I think it's maybe like four Supers or five Supers. There's another Bird Sanctuary. Still need one other wheel. Let's see. Because I really hope I can remove three boxes in a row that's just absolutely bullshit dude what that what is that three boxes in a row the first two ultra rares are necro synchron and sage Def all right all right we're gonna rebound here though we're gonna rebound we're gonna rebound we're gonna rebound we're gonna go ahead and it'd be interesting to see what the other two boxes that i got uh, from this store having them for ultra rares when my friends open them because uh, they asked me to pick up a couple boxes for them um, and it'd be interesting to see what ultra rares they get and I hope two of them are Necrosynchron and Sage the Fleur so they can also feel my pain and it's a spell all right we got a place at a speedroid wheel I'm happy about that we got a crystal clear wing we got wheel we got hounds we got duplicates literally just need cork blaster literally just need Cork Blaster. The Ghost Rare Crystal Clear, you know, that's a bonus, right? Just need a Cork. I need two Cork Shooters, actually. Um, it just seems so weird that they would choose, like, that card to short print. Because that's what it seems. Like, you'd think they would, like, short print, like, the Ensemble Blue Robin and the Bird Calls. But, no. Cork shooter. Cork shooter short printed. Why? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I really couldn't. So we get our third clearing rider. Nothing. This is turning out to be a disaster. Which is not something you want to be saying to yourself when you're opening a bunch of packs. You know? It's really not something you want to be saying to yourself. Oh boy. I can't wait for another bird call or. I can't wait for another wagtail or bird call. I'm really looking forward to that. That's really what I'm looking forward to. Like, the only thing at this point, if I don't get a cork shooter, the only thing that could save this would be the ghost rare. Literally the only thing. Another Ultra Hound's fine, I guess. I think that's the third one for this box, or these boxes. I think. So. Alright. Maybe the six pack error was a sign of bad things to come, I guess. Nothing there. We only have, like, a handful of packs left here, so we're uh, really coming down to the wire. And we've only gotten three Ultra Rares so far in this box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so four Supers, three Ultras. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs to go. So we're in the final ten here. Oh, boy. I'm getting nervous now. So we can technically get two to three more Ultra Rares. All right, another wheel. Or Speedroid Roulette, as it used to be called. I thought I liked that name better, but... Thrush. Alright, where is our last two to three Ultra Rares? I think we got six Ultras in the last box. Oh, thank God. Okay, thank God. Thank God. One Cork Shooter in the close. One Cork Shooter in the close. Look at it on all of its glory look at it oh my goodness all right potentially one to two more ultra rares left in these packs give me another cork shooter or a ghost rare just please no leer lust stuff i we've gotten enough leer lust stuff all right nothing in that pack All right, we got one cork shooter. All right, we had four packs left. I'm going with the bottom pack, switching it up, switching the order up on these packs. They don't even realize it. 
All right, here we go. Nothing. Don't tell me this is going to be a four ultra rare box. The box where we get Cork Shooter, we get a four ultra rare box. Don't do me like this, Konami, please. It's a wagtail. It's a wagtail. It would be a wagtail. It would be. It would be. Come on. Last pack magic, baby. Come on. Give me the cork shooter in the clothes as the fifth ultra. The sixth ultra. Come on. Floral Knights. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of my content, click on one of the videos popping up in the bottom of the screen right now. And as always, Winter Kill signing out. We'll see you guys in the next one. Last but not least, a huge shout-out goes to our Divine Level channel members, and they are Cadillacs84, Ponystart, Keysitters, Tweeter0226, and Black Ninja Money. Thank you guys so much, as always, for your extremely generous support of this channel.